Hello there, and welcome to part 8 of my FIFA 23 player career mode, where we redeem the career of Delhi Alley, and we are once again back in international action with the England squad as we take on the Netherlands away from home. Delhi Alley once again making a substitute appearance for Gareth Southgate's England team as he gets past the midfielder there, and a nice outside of the foot shot is well saved by the goalkeeper there. Delali does now come over to take a corner kick. He swings it in to find Harry Kane and the goalkeeper pulls off a fantastic save. Delali linking up there with his former Tottenham teammate. He is then played through on goal and agonisingly he can't quite find the back of the net as it finishes 0-0. The media do report that we are pulling in some top draw displays and that we are working hard to earn the appreciation of the Everton support while Everton take one step closer to the league title. With the teams behind us, well behind and it is very much a race for them to catch up with this Everton team now. We take on Sunderland away from home at the Stadium of Light where Dele Alley once again starts in the starting 11 for Sean Dyche's team. A nice 1-2 of the left winger there finds Dele Alley, whose right footed curl shot from range is well saved by the goalkeeper. Dele is played in by the striker here. He gets past one player and scores a screamer from range in the far left corner to make it 1-0 Everton on the 73rd minute and that's full time. You can notice here that our wage has dropped to £62,000 per week, dropping from £100,000 per week and we are offered a wage increase but we are aware that Everton Football Club are in dire financial ruins just now with being relegated from the Barclays Premiership as well as they are being forced to try and sell off some of their top earners and top players as well, meaning Dele Alley will have a very difficult decision to make in the near future if he does want to take a wage increase to potentially get Everton out of this league to convince him to stay, but it may also ruin the club's financial structure, or does he help the club and support them by getting a transfer move in the January transfer window? As you can see there, Dele Alley finishes off a nice move there to put Everton 3-0 up, and there's a celebration like his former Tottenham Hotspur teammates, Hugh Minson, maybe that is a little ode to him and to try and suggest that a future move to Tottenham Hotspur may be in the work in the future as the score finishes there 4-0 with Dele Alley putting in a fantastic performance. Next up is Huddersfield at Goodison Park in the league. Dele Alley's shot from range is well saved by the goalkeeper there, not able to find the top corner. Last minute of the game here, Dele Alley goes past one player and then he goes past another Played into the right winger, he does get the ball back in the box, but agonisingly he does get played out of the pitch and the score finishes 0-0, meaning Everton drop points against a lower league side for the first time in this series I believe. Next up we do take on Ipswich at home, Dele Alley, whose right footed curled shot is well saved by the goalkeeper there, aiming for the bottom right corner. He does get another opportunity from the corner kick and this time he makes no mistake. This time he finds the top left corner with an of the foot shot and a nice celebration there with his Everton teammates as well as Sean Dyche decides to substitute Dele Alley off to give him a well earned rest. Managing to pull in a 7.3 match rating with a goal as well. Next up we take on Luton Town away from home. Dele Alley finds Onan on the edge of the box who blasts a shot into the right corner to put Everton 1 0 up. Dele Alley again picks up the ball on the edge of the box. His left footed curl shot as well is saved by the goalkeeper there. Dele Alley picking up the ball on the edge of the box again, playing in Moyes Keane, who does manage to find the back of the net to put Everton 2 0 up here, meaning Dele Alley picks up his second assist of the game for the score to finish 2 0. Dele Alley looking to pick up a player, he does find the right winger who is on the edge of the box, who takes a shot and finds the left corner, meaning it's another great assist for Dele Alley as Townsend blasts in that shot. Dele Alley inside the box, who again can't quite find the bottom corner as the goalkeeper makes a fantastic save. Dele Alley passed one player inside the box, passed another two players, but his shot is well blocked by a defender, keeping the score at 1 0. Dele Alley here chips the ball over the centre back's head, but the goalkeeper makes a fantastic save, and Dele Alley is given a rest by Sean Dyche. Coming up in the next episode, we will have some important decisions to make regarding our future at Everton as the media again report our quality performances, which surely must be catching the eye of other clubs as everyone becomes aware of Everton's financial situation. Do we take the wage increase, keep Everton in the league, 
and get them promoted or do we get sold to give them some financial help? Thanks for watching. Bye bye.